Post Office Rugby Wireless Station has made Great Britain supreme in the realm of radio telephony and the key to international communications. These giant masts are over 800 feet high and 12 of them support the main aerials that enables rugby to speak to the ends of the earth. It was quite literally the radio station for the world, started in the 1920s all the way through up until the 1990s. It's a fundamentally important building to technology and what's nice is it always will be because it'll always be there because it now has a viable future. This is the next great chapter in this building's history. It may not be broadcasting across the globe anymore, but it's going to be broadcasting to young minds and inspiring those future generations. Yes, we are a school and we're an educational provider, but we want to make sure that that link to being a world-class communications hub is never lost and that the children always know what this land has been and what it has been in the past. This was previously known in rugby as the mass site. And we're here in Sea Station, which was the centre of that development where messages were sent out around the world. In less than two years, we have taken the old rugby radio station and we've managed to create the most wonderful educational environment. It's really special because of the fact that we're building upon an existing listed building. That almost never happens. The quality of the Edwardian brickwork in the original building was extraordinary and that in turn then sets the standard for what is expected on the new buildings. Of course the school is not the only way in which the essence of the radio station site has been maintained. The name itself of Holton reflects the fact that the first ever transatlantic telephone call was made from London to Rugby, from Rugby to Holton, and from Holton to New York. As far as I'm aware, it's the first ever example of a town in North America giving its name to one in the United Kingdom as opposed to the other way around. VHH were the architects on this building. They'd done the primary school for us at Rugby, and we've worked very closely with them so the design of the school was very much dictated by the central sea station. That gave it a focus and a purpose. It's a really good example of form following function. You could characterise the, the works into sort of three tasks. The first task is to remove what's needed. Some of it was demolished. We salvaged material to use like bricks. The next stage when you've got the building stripped out, everything removed, including old windows and things like that, is you've got to build back new structure. So that puts the new floors into the building and divides the building up into the form that the school will need. And then the last and much more complex or most complex element is putting the linings on, the new windows, the new roof, the new floors, and fitting it out with new services so it works like a modern building. One of the significant features of the school is that, so far as I'm aware, it's the very first time that a private organisation has built a new state secondary school. The school is not required to be built under planning requirements for maybe five or six years. Now, we brought that forward because of the needs of the community and working with the local authority and the Department of Education because there was an identified need for school places in London. What's great about Holton is that Urban and Civic have put the entire site together uh, where we will have 6,200 new homes when completed. And that scale has enabled Urban and Civic to put in place all of the infrastructure and the facilities that people like to see in a new development. And having the school here is a really important part of that so that when people come into Holton, there's a place for their children to get a first class education. One of the most marvellous things for me about the whole project is the way that everybody has been invested in not just making it the best that it could be, but also respecting and bringing out the historic elements. 
we've delivered on our promise to make the history of this site part of its future. It has been made possible by the collective efforts, the collaboration of a whole variety of partners that are invested in the transformation of Holton and rugby. We took the risk in converting a listed building. We were pleased to do that. Our friends at Morgan Sindel have done a really good job in helping and our role throughout has been to, to help drive that sense of innovation and it was always going to allow us to produce a scale of building and a sense of ambition for the young people in rugby that would have been really difficult to replicate with a new school and a new design. We and the Trust have had a really strong relationship with Urban and Civic right from the start, from when this building was just on paper. They've worked really closely with us and they've really reassured us. They are so passionate about the school and the project of what it will be for the local community. They haven't just wanted to come in and hand over a building to us. They remain in close contact with me. They have supported us with the policy delivery and also making sure that we remain that heart of the community at Holton. Interestingly, as a school, it is the civic centre of a development of six and a half thousand houses. You know, schools are not normally the iconic building, but I think Urban and Civic is completely into education and the schools that are dotted through their developments, they are the visible feature that says we are a community and we're at the centre of that community. It's about where you take your life. So the fact that the schools are kind of iconic buildings with the development is entirely deliberate and entirely fitting. When I walked into this school for the first time, I just thought the building looked like one of the best buildings I've ever seen. It's just so clean, new, and it's the best school in rugby. This building feels amazing. I would think no school would be like this. This is like a dream school. I felt so amazing when I came here. I would say that they would have to make another one just like it so that everybody can get a chance to go there. And it's just amazing.